Hello everyone, welcome to this second session on Tangled Senna. So today we'll be drawing another tile together using the pattern Senna and probably one or two more tangles to go along. So let us first put our four corner dots in place. I don't do it always but yes, uh, if you are a beginner it's a, always a good idea to start with your corner dots and border. Yeah. And then let us start right away with a pattern called Banzo. So what I am going to do here is use about half of the tile for the pattern Banzo. And then we will use the rest of the tile for Senna. Yeah. So going to start with some big Banzos here. So we already know how to draw the pattern Banzo. In case you are new to the pattern you can always refer to my previous videos. I will be drawing these C shapes or you can say some a crescent moon uh, forming two C shapes yeah <laughs> so they are in pairs and I will be inking them in pairs with or without a highlight that's up to us so going to maneuver it the way I wish to you can do that the way you wish to Yeah. Then again start something from here, again. So I am first just drawing the pattern and then we will move on to inking it. So it is again a drama tangle which acts lot of boldness to your tile once inked. Yeah, And then you can maneuver it in some other way. So that's the beauty of the pattern. It just grows in just about any direction you want it to. You can maneuver these C shapes the way you want. Yeah. So again, I'm going to start probably somewhere here. Yeah, nice cloudy banzos. Yeah, they actually look like clouds to me, which are waiting to rain. Always keep attaching stories to my tiles. Yeah, so I can build around my tiles. I can attach stories to them. It's real fun. Try doing that. Yeah. Now kids have a special way of connecting real life things with patterns. And it's really helpful for them to retain patterns that way. Yeah. So it's nice to link although it's against the principles of Zentangle yeah abstract things not supposed to be linked to anything but yeah everybody has his or her own way of interpreting it yeah so probably I'll stop my Banzo here and move on to my pattern Senna yeah and we'll ink our Banzo later slowly and so let's start with Senna now. So let's see how do we want to go about. Again starting like this. And then probably we'll add a fold to it. So if you find it difficult to do that exercise, you can always add these lines around your Senna to add some folds. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Yeah, so I'm just going to add a curl, and you can see I'm not going very close here. 
so I'm maintaining some distance so that's okay that's another way to draw it yeah so you may or may not use the lines for reference that's okay draw it the way you want just make sure they repeat in a particular sequence so they will be easy to shade yeah yeah so again turning my line here again giving a curl to my line here adding these two curls here again we'll start with the curls again like this yeah if you want you can add something here probably a little weight or touch of diva dance or something like that here and there yeah optional little linking breaks that monotony that's all no other purpose it will look nice anyway so again adding that curl yeah simple exercise just added a little curl and the look varies So try putting a little weight when you start the line. So you can see the reference line is lost somewhere and my curls are somewhere else. That's okay. <laughs> So this curl, the purpose of this curl is just to give you some opportunity for a different shading. Yeah, different from what we usually do with Senna. So it will add a little more excitement to your straight lines. And you can see how you can continue with them. And it is making another shape here. Yeah, so that's so exciting. So you can either continue like this for some time and then yeah and then continue this line probably yeah what fun isn't it so let us now start to ink our banzos. So you can either ink it completely or you can either highlight or you can add some other pattern inside it. I would like to go with inking. Yeah. And I'm going to ink a few and then you can continue with the process. 
and I will also continue with the process but off camera yeah <laughs> so small little things that you can do to your senna to enhance its look again to reiterate the lines need not be close they can be widely spaced also you can start with a C or an S shape or you can start randomly those shapes are just for reference right and please don't try to replicate my senna because it is not possible to do that you cannot replicate so many lines yeah so just go with the flow see where your lines take you just uh, add that small little thing the curl and it will add you some uh, you know uh, give add a little more opportunity to shade little differently that's about it yeah it's a simple pattern to draw and true meditation so give me a little time I'll go on like this yeah you can already see the drama that it adds immediately to your tile beautiful patterns yeah so I am on the last few almost finishing with inking my bunzos and I have left a highlight in between you can do that with your chalk pencil also entirely up to you so you can already see the drama that it adds to your tile just because it has some bold inking involved and if you really want to add that drama then go with the original look of the tangle yeah so yeah, if you have other elements in your tile which would add drama then you can think of doing away with the inking of your bunzo else it is always a good idea to you know ink it Yeah, and the last one so take your time and enjoy the process of inking don't haste up yeah so now that we have done our bunzo and our senna let us now add shades of grey so I am now going to add a thick graphite here under my bunzo yeah and probably I'm going to re-emphasize it with my gray watercolor pencil. By now you must be aware at times we use it to you know re-emphasize the darkness that sometimes the pencil does not give sufficiently. Yeah. So the where the lines are curling up basically where they are going down that's the place to highlight it yeah you can highlight this part you can highlight yeah this part yeah so first shade this and as far as bunzo is concerned just add darkness to one side and we shall highlight the other side yeah simple the center is already highlighted so the rest of the side can be highlighted just the way we have done for the center with the chalk pencil and then moving on here yeah. 
simple that's about it let us now move on to blending so let's blend our senna first Moving on to blending the corners where I've added some really thick graphite under my bunzo. Again the curls. I don't blend too much. leaves the scope for highlighting yeah, so you can see how the curls take their own way and yeah and then moving on to our bunzo darken one side Don't move beyond half, yeah. I think I left inking here. So a small little section. Yep, that's about it. We have shaded everything. So let us now add the highlight. Yeah. So wherever there is a curl, highlight the curl. That's about our senna. So let us now highlight the other section of our bunzo. Add chalk. So soften it so that it doesn't look like a patch. Yeah. Just brush off the excess, nothing much. And the last one. This high and low gives so much dimension to our bunzo. Yeah. So now I'm going to add a touch of grey here. This is my grey watercolor pencil. 
I'm just going to add a little at the edges of my bunzo. Why? Because I want my bunzo to be coming over my senna kind of morphing. Yeah. So just to give that effect a little, just use your brush pen or normal brush and just re-emphasize the ends a little don't want to do much let it be uneven no problem yeah that's about it that's Senna and Banzo, right? So let me close my tile here and give it two minutes to dry. Yeah, and then sign and date. So this is another version of Senna with little curls to highlight. Yeah. So we'll meet again with another new idea of Senna. Till then have a good time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.